We have talked a lot about Yamaha alto saxophones, from their student line to their intermediate and the professional, but today we're going to be talking about the elite line. In particular, this, the new 82ZA Mark II, the great amber finish alto saxophone. Let's check it out. Howdy everybody, my name is Andrew King and we are here at Alamo Music. Don't forget to visit us at alamomusic.com where we have this instrument and many more for you to peruse. Today we're going to be talking about the Yamaha alto saxophone, the 82Z. It's their top of the line jazz saxophone made mostly for free blowing and high performance. Uh, in comparison to the other one, which is the 875EX, which is much more in classically aligned. Um, but in particular, this one, uh, the 82Z, we have a special one today. It is in the Amber Finish, just released this last year. Uh, fantastic saxophone, great playability up and down, and an easy recommendation to anyone who is able to get in on it. Um, definitely recommendation, but let's go into the particulars today and let's talk about it. So. The 82Z is a very special instrument, in particular because it's part of the elite series that you see from a lot of uh, from a lot of these pro lines, especially the top dogs. I'm talking your Yamahas and your Selmers. This plays in line easily with any of the high Selmer Paris instruments or the Yana uh, Yanagasawas, and they should be mentioned in the same conversation. Um, now, with the 82Z, the great things about it is, in particular, and in my opinion, one of the most important parts is gonna be your neck. It comes with the custom V1 neck, and the custom V1 neck is a large, a large bore neck that allows for a lot more air to go through, uh, and it just really gives a really nice full sound. I'm very impressed with the my ability to get this very nice quick response. Uh, it's able to go up and down without too much trouble. I'm able to control octaves. I'm able to control pretty much everything about the instrument with ease. It's not a lot of precision work on my part. Um, so definitely a great instrument in that respect. The other cool thing is that the instrument really does open up, especially on the low end, and that's probably gonna have to be mostly due to its uh, one piece bell, where it really resonates on that low end. And this is one of those instruments because I believe because of the high lar large bore and then the really nice uh, low end, it gives just the entire instrument very nice free blowing nature, able to do pretty much anything you ask it to um, up and down with a great intonation as well. Everything was in tune up and down, everything was playing great. Uh, I really enjoyed the ergonomics on the instrument as well. Uh, the action in particular when it comes to that is very nice, especially pressing down the keys, it could snap right back up. Everything feels like it's very intentional um, if I had one thing, I would probably just raise the, the high F uh, palm key, but you're not really gonna be using that too often, in my opinion, if you're actually using this kind of saxophone. So it's not too big of a deal. Um, but uh, other than that and everything, it just feels really nice in my hand uh, up and down. I really enjoyed the, it, it just, everything about it was very nice for me. I'm playing this on a, Meyer seven star um, New York Meyer with a silver label Boston sax shop read uh, two and a half. Um, and I was able to just basically control myself all the way up and down. Usually with these kinds of instruments, especially when they first come in right out of the box, there might be a little bit of adjustments being need to be made. Um, but this one just flew right out. I just opened up the box, we took it out. I was like, it's perfect, let's go ahead and do a video. Um, and so that really speaks to Yamaha's consistency across the board. I, I, I have no doubt that if I picked up three or four more that they would have played great too. Um, I was able to try these out at the last couple trade shows as well. So these were very much on my radar for us to check out and get into the shop. So I'm very, ex uh, very uh, impressed with how consistent they are across the line as well. Um, now, as far as anything else goes, the price point is going to be a little bit higher, on uh, a little bit on the high end. You can check it out on our website as well. Um, and that's just going to be one of those barriers of entry that you're going to have to get past as far as getting these kind of saxophones from these brands. Um, you can get easily also get the, um, the Selmer line, so a lot of their Selmer Paris stuff. Um, uh, but get them fast. I think that if there is one available and you have a way to get it, I would get it as soon as possible if you are thinking of getting one because these kind of instruments, they do take a long time to make. Um, and that's just due to the amount of 
craftsmanship that goes into them. Um, but also just because there's tons of back order stuff going on through a lot of these companies right now, especially it's in, we're not too far out of COVID. Um, they have gotten better over time. We're not like stuff waiting in the bay or anything like that, but uh, these instruments do take a while to get in. So I would uh, act fast on getting these instruments, especially something as special as this one. The A2ZA plays fantastic up and down and I can't wait for you to hear it. So let's go ahead and check that out and then we'll talk about it more later.
So what did you think? I really enjoyed it up and down. I, I, I really, I, I'm going to gush about it for a little longer. I think that the placing down on the active key is also really nice. Uh, I like the button press kind of action to it rather than like the long press that you get with a lot of the older instruments. So as far as it like being like a really nice modern instrument, this is about one of the best ones you can get. Um, I'm very excited to do a comparison on this to other saxophones as well. Um, I don't really see a lot of difference between an 82Z and an 82ZA as far as any kind of tone color. I'm not too big on like the uh, any kind of lacquer having a big difference. As far as the craftsmanship of this instrument, I think that the, uh, especially the looks of it are absolutely phenomenal. It's not gonna change your sound or anything like that, but if you're playing a pretty horn and you have something that's this, this pretty, uh, gorgeous, uh, I really do think that it helps a lot with getting yourself into the saxophone. Um, and it's a great tool too. I'm really liking the amber finish. I think it covers, I think any kind of scratch or anything like that that could potentially happen over a long period of time, because this is one of those forever horns. Um, it's gonna look okay. Uh, it's not as noticeable or anything like that. Uh, especially looking like the, if you look down on it, the engravings are also very par uh, particular, very, very well done. I think it's just consistent, good Yamaha. Uh, it's just showing off that they can do anything with these. Um, I do really like, uh, especially the low end of the instrument when I'm playing it. It's just this very nice full sound that doesn't take too much effort. It, it, if you have a good airflow and you're able to support it and you have a nice mouthpiece that's able to, you're able to fill up the entire way, I think these are one of the best horns you can get that really don't get in the way of the player um, wanting to do certain actions or sound a certain way. Um, Yamaha, in my opinion, is one of those instruments that really do get out of the way when it comes to their playing. Um, and with the 82Z, you get the V1 neck, and you get the large bore, and you get the really nice bell, the one-piece bell. Uh, just everything about it uh, is to enhance a lot of the things that a well-trained musician or well-trained saxophone player is wanting to do with the instrument that uh, a lot of other saxophones will not want to do as well. In comparison to something like the 8875EX, which is something else uh, to think about, uh, this instrument definitely helps out more in the lines of a jazz player where they're wanting more free-blowing nature. There are gonna be jazz players that want some more of that resistance to grow inside of, but with these kind of instruments in the 82Z, I think, especially the 82Z in that particular, um, it really, it, it takes a lot from those kind of free blowing players that, you know, like softer reed players or players that want that harsh, powerful, uh, very forward sound that uh, you can kind of turn up and down the slider on and still have that full sound. Uh, it really helps in that area. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do love this instrument. I totally recommend it. We do have it on our website at alamomusic.com. Get into the comments. I wanna hear what else you, wanna guys, you guys wanna see. This is one of the newer ones that we've gotten to the shop. If there's any other newer horns that you've been looking forward to or would like to see, I would love to hear what you're looking at. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.